Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. In today's video on Veeam, I will show you how to deploy, configure, and run backups by using Veeam Backup for Microsoft Office 365 version 2. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm using a trial version. So if you want to try this out, you can go to veeam.com. And under products, you can choose uh, Office 365 for Veeam, and you can go full functionalities, uh, provided 30 days licensing and uh, if you are satisfied with the licensing just before your trial version is over you can reach out to Tech Data Canada team which will be more than happy to provide you with all the licensing and other needs so let's get started I have already downloaded the installation media so after you have uh, registered for the trial version you'll be provided with these three files so this is the management console the first file and then you have the exchange uh, to protect your mailboxes, calendars, contacts, and then you also have the media file for SharePoint sites as well as OneDrive. And uh, I will be using my trial version as I said. So let's get started by downloading the first file. Right click and open. Go to next. Accept the agreements. And uh, this is a Veeam backup for Microsoft Office 365 server. And click next and install Click on finish. Let's go and deploy the Veeam Explorer for Exchange. And the third one, which is Veeam Explorer for SharePoint. Okay, you'll be provided with this uh, icon which I will right click and run as an administrator. Go to connect. And at this stage, if you want, you can go and install the licensing file, but uh, I'm using trial version so I can protect up to 10 users, which is okay with me. So I can go no. And now we'll add the organization. So you can go to add organization. And at this stage, you can choose from Microsoft Office 365, hybrid or on-prem. Uh, we will be providing Office 365 protection. So I'll pick Office 365 and go to next. And at this stage, I'll provide the username credentials for my Office 365 subscription. So just to show you, I'm logged in with my Office 365 credential and it is ITS at ITS100 dot on Microsoft.com. That is what I'll be providing the username. And the password and go to next. And it is now verifying my credentials.
click finish and now you can see that uh, my organization has been added successfully so what I can do at this stage if I want to run the backup I can select my Office 365 subscription right click and go to backup and give the name first O365 backup go to next and at this stage I can back up the entire organization or if I want to back up only specific item I can go that uh, I will select the second option and go to add and pick users and these are the users in my office 365 subscription so just to show you this is my uh, admin console for my O365 subscription and these are the same users which you see in the Veeam console now. So let me just flip over to the Veeam management console and at this stage I just want to back up only one user for this demonstration. I'll pick Ram, go to add, go to next, next again and now here I can specify backup proxy if I have and the backup repository. When you deploy your Office 365 management console, by default, it will select the C drive of your computer as your backup repository. But if you want to specify any other location, you can do that. But I will use the default, which is okay with me, and go to next. And here, I can specify how long I want to uh, keep this and how often I want to run the backup and go to create. So as you can see, uh, I have uh, specified that this uh, Office 365 backup the name of the job and if I right click at this stage I can go to start and my first backup for Office 365 will start running. Now in this video you saw how to deploy, configure, add organization and uh, run your first backup of your Office 365 by using Veeam backup and replication. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.